All right, let's uh, brave the waters here. Welcome to my playthrough of Ask Creed 3. It is the magic number. I actually tried to run this shortly after completing my playthrough of Ask Creed 2 Revelations, like two years ago or something like that. And, uh, well, let's just say it didn't work out very well. Back on my old system, it was not quite powerful enough to overcome the proprietary nonsense where the game was really only supposed to run on NVIDIA graphics cards. Now I have a more powerful GPU, so maybe we will see uh, something a little bit better from our attempt this time around. It has been long enough that I have completely forgotten what the opening was, although I'm sure some of it will come back to me. Uh, but uh, unfortunately, I didn't actually run into any performance issues until I hit Boston, which is apparently something that happens a lot. Uh, the game is regularly going down to like 20 FPS or something. Uh, now, in this particular playthrough, I am going to do a little bit of settings editing at the beginning. So there's a time code in the bottom if you want to skip all that. Uh, this is the uh, generally the introduction. And uh, I, I like to show the user interface because this is an important aspect of the game. It tells you a lot about whether or not the developers gave a fuck. And uh, spoiler, Ubisoft has never really given a fuck about user interface design. Uh, I have played a little bit of Rainbow Six Siege, but even that game has a lot of very, like, console holdovers, uh, similar to, like, the Halo Master Chief Collection, where the UI is horrible and very clearly designed for a console and was not very well ported, if it was ported and updated at all. Now, at least in this case, I can scroll, but you'll notice that I have to be having my mouse selecting, like, uh, like the mouse has to be over this stuff, right? Just scrolling is enough to make me n unable to scroll anymore. So I have to move it up which can then obviously uh, destabilize the scroll like now because I'm too far up, right? So it's, it's more obviously a problem when you're scrolling down, but uh, in this particular case, it's they make you fight to scroll down to the exit to desktop button, which is what you really should be doing. And then of course they have like some hotkey over here, some uh, enter key icon, and then you can just left click it. However, if you were trying to edit something in particular, um, well, it's not enough that you, uh, Click it once in the menu. Uh, notably, you'll actually have to... Uh, well, for one, I guess you have to be really precise with when you click on the back button, but you'd actually have to, like, say I wanted to... I see graphics here. Well, I have to click it to select it and then move my mouse to click it again. This is stuff that's, like, super obvious. Obviously not ported from console. Console environments, obviously you're moving with a joystick as opposed to moving with uh, your mouse, so there's not really any dynamic element that you need to keep attracted to the screen uh, fixed at a certain point. But uh, yeah, these are the graphic settings, by the way. This is all you get. There's no advanced settings, nothing. Uh, so I was actually looking for a way to change my resolution in here, which uh, seems like I will have to edit it somewhere else because I can't really find anything in here. So that'll probably be its own insanity. I'm scrolling all the way down here. Don't see anything. Boat controls, by the way. And then you can uh, pad your kill list or whatever. That's been a joke for a long time, but it'll probably get me banned at some point. Yeah, I mean, there's really nothing in here, not even in general, which is the last place you would think to look. Well, the last legitimate place you would think to look. There's nothing in here for that sort of thing. So, uh, we'll be right back after I mess around with the uh, some config files. XD. Wow, nice menu. All right, we're back. Um, I'm not sure if this is uh, one of those cases where the opening logos are capped at 60 FPS, but uh, suffice it to say, that does not look like it was at 144 hertz. Anyway, I've uh, managed to... Wow, nice always online, by the way. I've managed to uh, find the INI file, even though I installed the game to the E drive. <laughs> You're fucking insane if you think I'm doing that. You play, by the way. Even even though I installed it to the E drive, it uh, put my documents in the C drive, probably because that's where my Windows is installed, but I don't fucking know. Anyway, I think I have my settings done. We will see if it actually works. Let's play some single player. Uh, as you can see, I started a profile as Mike. We're just going to go ahead and start a new one. Used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up or laughed them off. Sometimes both but we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. 
it nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found, all of them dangerous. Most are held by a single group, the same group that now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars, as the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years, even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything, to show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him. To Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. He used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be when it does. They've been guiding us in their own fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives. They're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him, however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. Man, there's so much compression in those cutscenes. That's not all YouTube, I should mention. Oh, we're still in a cutscene, but at least it's playing at a, the proper f resolution and refresh rate now. We're here. Let's go. This is a story game, so prepare for the worst. I don't remember how to play this game, but it doesn't appear that I'm allowed to move at any reasonable speed. Which makes what I'm about to do all the more annoying. Let's slowly traipse around. I'm pressing every button that I would think might help me move around here. You notice the, um, well, I see anti-aliasing is working. You know what? Let's, let's do ourselves a little experiment. What the fuck? I can't even access the pause menu? Hold on, let me all tab. Maybe that will fix it. I actually can't even pause the game at this point. Just clipping through stuff, of course. Invisible walls. I mean, I, I get the idea that they uh, they probably didn't expect anybody to actually look around here, which is why they have giant, uh, stretchy textures that are lower resolution than my head. Hmm. Right back into the Quake days. Gotta love that. You know, I really wonder why people decided to go for 3D games when they didn't want to create engines that could support higher resolution objects being loaded in. I mean, when you're making a game that's supporting... Uh, play on a console, you have to make certain concessions. Even on a fundamental level, 
you got to make sure that all of your textures are even able to be loaded in by the limited RAM of old consoles. I mean, we are strictly talking old consoles. Apparently, this is not the case anymore, where uh, some consoles will have higher-end hardware than the average enthusiast's PC, uh, myself included, presumably. But, uh, yeah. Despite that, I mean... You'd think that they would try to do something, maybe maybe uncap some potential for higher resolution uh, textures in some areas and not laud so much stuff and not uh, reduce the overall quality of the scenes that they have here, given that this is now on PC. Now, apparently this game franchise, including this particular game, has received a remaster, which I am not playing. I think my experience with remasters has taught me to avoid those like the plague. But we do see a little bit of IK here. Unfortunately, not not perfectly implemented. Of course, we're also looking at a rock whose lighting is taken straight out of the Bible in terms of how it uh, hand, how it respects the laws of physics. There's, it's not casting a shadow, but it has dark edges on uh, actually all of it besides the part that's facing the source of the light. Uh, so that's pretty cool. And then, of course, our foot is just clipping through it in certain cases. Uh, but they tried. They, they put in some effort. You know, the, again, this is like the first area of the game. This is literally the first time we can move around. Not fully, not at the reasonable speed that we would like to be able to move around. And it's still just, an, in essence, a cutscene slash walking simulator. But, you know, you want to put your best foot forward, not your best foot into a rock. Just uh, some tips there. I know I'm armchair critiquing and all, but... Oh, they were all just sitting here waiting for me. <laughs> that was very kind of them to hold those boxes. This is scary. This is like a fucking... I don't know what's going on over here, but th this is like a scene out of some lunatic movie. Like, if you bashed Quentin Tarantino over the head with a rock and then told him to direct a movie, this might be a, a representation of his dementia. Oh, void. All right, well, I had a lot of input and choice there. That save logo looks really horrible, too. I don't know what the fuck's up with that. There's so much noise on it. I would like to take a closer look at that at some point. Yeah, well... You are just holding some giant glowing thing that's blinding me, so... I guess you should look around as if nothing is happening. Nice texture resolution on the graffiti. In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. Like how he's not even going to bother. Oh, I was, I was going to say he's not even going to bother helping his uh, family there, or his f dad. Why, why, why did I teleport, by the way? What the fuck? What is even the point of that? I mean, you might as well just fade to black instead of... I mean, they faded to black, but they paused the frame instead of continuing the animation. Like, they could have just faded to black a little bit earlier, and it still would have been a little weird, but... Oh, I can start... Fuck yeah, I can run, guys! Mm. Oh. I'm really, I didn't just have busted my leg there, honestly. I don't appear to be able to climb. Oh, I can float. I I am the Messiah. Holy resolution on these rocks. This is like original Halo stuff. So I guess that's a little bit better than Quake, but not by much. 3D games just... Oh, wow. Dude, they, they stretched that rock texture out into a fucking barcode. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. -mm. Wow. Well, we went from original Halo to the first test of vector graphics ever conducted on a computer back in 1967. <laughs> or where, whatever the fuck it was. Obviously, that's a joke. But come the fuck on, dude. That's that's insane. Oh, it's happening here. Oh, and there's some seams over there, too. There's no, there's no UV mapping happening over here, man. We, we don't believe in UV mapping. That's actually um, something that we believe to be... Uh, you know, it just reinforces the patriarchy. Oh, so does allowing the player to move around, though. Oh, jitter. I think we're here. 
You notice there's a ton of ellipses, those three dots, uh, between words that the actual intonation does not respect at all. Like, it doesn't, doesn't do anything. Wow, that was a nice scripted sequence. Hey, can I pick that up? Hey, give me that. I don't know how to interact with it. It just keeps rolling. Oh, I guess I can kick it telepathically. Oh, man, it's floating. They didn't have IK for that. Dude, that is, like, possessed by the fucking devil. And it just keeps rolling, I guess. That's fine. So, uh... Looks like I can finally jump around now. But jumping was disabled until I, uh, fell. You know, that's normal. Dude, what is going on with this thing? You know what this reminds me of? It's not quite as insane, but in Dark Souls, there's like a bush that you can, uh, you can find, and its vertex is like completely fucked. So when it, when it gets collision as associated with it, it like just flips around violently. Looks pretty good. Speaking of looking good. Well, can't really tell what I'm looking at here, so. Check that out. That was a skill test. I might have gotten wet if I didn't know how to use the controls. I wonder if the tutorials are disabled or something, or if they just don't... If they just expected you to know? I don't know. Oh. The Zelnaga left something behind. Check it out. Dude, his shirt is clipping into his shirt. That's new. <laughs> Wouldn't expect that. Like his sleeve. This is your main character, and you're having clipping issues with his stuff. I mean... Wait, why was that just lying there anyway? Like... You could have had some hobo fall down in here and do that by accident. In fact, that would have been probably been a funnier game. You're reliving your ancestors as a homeless person in... Saudi times, ancient, ancient Babylon. Looking for your quick fix of poppy seeds. Oh, there's some... real geometric shit happening over here, man. Maybe you're supposed to be on mushrooms for this game's opening? That would help it make a little bit more the key. sense. Oh, you man. You must find the key. Oh, well, at least that person respected the ellipses. Son. Sir. <sighs> Here we go again. Desmond? Destroyed. Do you hear us? Monkey man. Uh, yeah. What happened? The temple triggered a bleeding effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the Animus instead of, I don't know, making sure I was okay? You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you, and I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get How it. embarrassing. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. There's no idea where it is, though. Guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's talking to me. Well, I got okay, instead of just ending it, they just teleport you. While you were you. Uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. So, they... Okay. Now they have you actually having this story context for a tutorial. But... Then they have text on the screen. And idiot text pop-ups, right? Like, okay, yeah. If I didn't know how to play the game, this would be necessary. Okay, Desmond. Let's practice climbing on these objects. There's objects? Oh, you mean all the way down there. Practice climbing on these things that you can barely see, TBH. And yes, this is fully automated, by the way. I'm not really doing anything right now. I didn't even see that was there, but okay. 
Nice field of view, IMO. Platforming in this game tends to be a pretty big chore, which is, uh, <clears throat> pretty insane. Free run your way through this little obstacle course. Free run, by the way. People using game terms. Pretty insane that platforming is annoying, considering that's what the game is meant to be, I'm pretty sure. I thought I was supposed to wall run there or something, but... That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. All right, Desmond, follow the on-screen instructions Wait, what? and kill on the On screen, by the way. Yes, slow my screen down, please. Also, his gun just starts levitating. Like some kind... Holy camera, dude. All you have uh, to do here uh, is jump the gap. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> oh no. Destroyed, Ayama. I don't even know what I did. The very athletic, nimble man. I can't really see anything on screen, so that's pretty cool, I guess. Oh, I guess I'm just supposed to keep free running. Dude, I can't see anything, man. Synchronization levels are oh, good okay. now. We should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. Dude, check me out. I'm a man. I'm a... Uh... Transitioned Kathleen Kennedy. That's who I am. I can't run anymore, by the way. Sir. Sir. Everything all right, sir? Yes. Fine. See, that guy's just mouth was not moving. That's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? In front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring a round of what? Invitation, please. Shall I take your coat, sir? Destroyed, TBH. Uh, no, thanks. If I skip cinematics, we'll be missing gentlemen. content. You are requested to kindly find your seat. I think people are popping in, but I can't really tell Good because evening, animations sir. are this snapping. Way, I don't know if I'm even controlling this guy right now. Oh, yeah. Okay. I can just do this. Oh, I can't go back. I can only go one way. What? Why even make me do this? Just make it a cutscene. Why are you wasting my time? <laughs> Dude, that man. <laughs> Evening, Haytham. Reginald? I can't tell you how happy I was to hear they'd mounted this revival. Gay's best work by far. Have you seen it before? Once. My father brought me here as a child. Though I remember little of it. I don't suppose tonight will afford me the luxury of a proper viewing either. No, I'm afraid it won't. I apostrophe afraid. More like you. Then. Do you see him? Eagle vision! Be seated in one of the boxes above. The stairs are watched. I need to find another way up. I already have. <laughs> They're trying to make it a spy movie or something. Oh, clipping. A thousand pardons. So sorry. My apologies. Executed, TBH. What am I doing? Uh, exiting? Oh. There's a indicator pointing to a ladder. You know, just to make sure that you have no... Wait, what? Dude, they did not care at all if you would... 
I can't imagine that this is real, dude. Hi. How are you? What's up, motherfucker? So this basically is like a get out of jail free card for the developers so that they don't have to actually design an area that's readable or anything like that. By the way, there's a bunch of people who are directly opposite me, including the guy who I'm supposed to be going to uh, give him a smooch. Uh, I'm directly opposite that guy right now on the same height level. So the idea that uh, he would not see that is fucking hilarious. Ah, lock picking. My favorite kind of artificial game lengthener. Move the mouse left and right. What? Oh, okay. I'm never doing that again if I don't have to. That was stupid. Nice skinematic, skinematic, skip cinematic. Yeah, nobody sees that, that's fine. What am I doing? <laughs> I like how many times stuff just... I don't know, man. Seems pretty weird. What do I have to jump back? No? Go back up? Go down? Go down to go up? Oh, here we go. Again, like, there's one solution to these platforming puzzles, and they force you to do them anyway. Good thing he was alone. I'm pretty sure he was talking to somebody when I saw him before. Hey, Thumb. You should have come to me. We would have found another way. Oh, there's a woman in the yes. back. But then you would have known. For what it's worth, I'm sorry. As am I. Three D did not age very well, man. <laughs> I'm a medieval James Bond, and I have one way to go wherever I want to go. Calm, please. Reasonable. Okay, bye. Excuse me. Hi. <laughs> Dude, what is this game? Hi. Order! We must have order! It happened we must have What are those There's men doing in there? I'm staying where it's safe. Peace, friends! There is no. I don't get it. There's like a million people in here, but I only hear two voices. And, uh, Where I don't know. Hi. Rude. Again, is, I think this is just you walking out. Oh, and a man walking into you. Um, dude, they... Look at the green woman's skirt, dude. Just like her dress or whatever, it just flips out all the time. And how was the opera? Rather dull, truth be told. 
Dude, nice glass. What is that texture? Must have been out of Quake as well. Shall we be all thin? Aye. To fleet and bride. By your command. Dude, nice texture resolution. Oh. It's even more apparent here. Why are you zooming into something like that? Oh, man. Gentlemen, I hold in my hand a key. And if this book is to be believed, it will open the doors of a storehouse built by those who came before. Ah, yes. Those who ruled, reigned, and vanished from the world. Do we know what it is that will be held within? It could contain certain knowledge. Perhaps a weapon, or something as yet unknown, unfathomable in its construction and purpose. It could be any of these things, or none of them. They are still an enigma, these precursors. <laughs> One thing I am certain. Whatever waits behind those doors shall prove a great boon to us all. Or our enemies, should they find it first. They won't. You've seen to that. I assume you know where this storehouse is. Ah, Mr. Harrison. Gentlemen. How fair your calculations? I believe the site lies somewhere within this region. That's a lot of ground to cover. My apologies. Were that I could be more accurate. That's all right. It suffices for a start. And that is why we've called you here, Master Kenway. We'd like for you to travel to America, locate the storehouse, and take possession of its contents. I'm yours to command. Although a job of this magnitude will require more than just myself. Of course. Upon this paper are the names of five men sympathetic to our cause. Each is also uniquely suited to aid you in your endeavor. With them at your side, you will want for nothing. Well, then I'd best be on my way. I knew our faith in you was not misplaced. We booked you passage to Boston. Your ship leaves at dawn. Go forth, Haytham, and bring honor to us all. Blech! Instead of uh, inspiring some sort of understanding as to how important the whole mission that we're about to get was, nice sound effect, by the way, they just made it cliche and just gave this guy like some weird pep talk or whatever. I want to toggle Andy Alias thing on a higher level to see if it makes a difference, but I'm worried about hitting escape in the middle of a fucking cutscene. I don't think it'll make that much of a difference, though. Because the stuff where the edges are just vanishing out of existence is like TAA or something, and I can't even turn that off and without restarting the game, presumably. Nice tiling in the water. Whoa, dude, did you see that? Rewind that and watch that again. His fucking pen. Some fresh air might do me good. Pretty epic. Nice texture resolution of an object that you're staring at. All right. I still can't use the escape key. There we go, now I can. I had to wait for it to... I had to wait for something, I'm not really sure what. But now you have to wait for me, so, uh, except you don't. Because I'm obviously just gonna pause it, but yeah, BRB. Okay, we are back. I've actually turned my AC down quite a bit. Uh, apparently, it's been on quite high. I, I didn't even realize. But, uh, should fix some of the... Audio background. I wanted to actually point this out, though. Look at this fucking paragraph here, this uh, short description, which for some reason <laughs> is a scroll bar. <laughs> I mean, not really a bar. I don't know if you can call that a bar, but I guess it is. Oh, yeah. Well, you know, maybe if uh, your resolution is like 640 by 480, you need a scroll bar for that. But it talks about how there's like a life-ending solar flare coming, and uh, they need to figure out how to stop it. This is not... Exposited. I mean, they, they, they mention that they're like that, uh, that dad dad mentions that there's a problem that they have to face that could end all life on December 12th, 2012 or whatever, or 2021. I don't remember what it was, but they, they say that, right? But they don't say what it is. Dad doesn't say what it is. If dad doesn't tell me, how am I supposed to know? What even is this? Oh, I can scroll in this, too. Oh, here we go. Yeah, I was gonna turn up, uh, AA. 
I usually set this stuff really low because I don't actually know what kind of AI they're doing. And usually it just gives me a headache. Oh, actually, I guess I can just check that real quick. One sec. Yeah, all right. On second thought, I think I'll leave that AI on. It's just multi-sample, so wouldn't really make much of a difference anyway. Get him out of here. You know what I mean? So. Let's go. Hi. Now, I'm no ship hand, but deck hand, is that what they call it? Is it required to uh, paint the walls? You know, I found out when I was working with a, a man named, we'll call him Jack. Jack told me that the, uh, Jack was an African gentleman, and Jack told me that the, the black term for cream pie was painting walls. So um, I don't, I'm not sure where he heard that one. I've never heard that one, and I've spoken to a lot of black people in my time. Whoa! But, uh... <laughs> yeah, anyway, that's another thing you can use your in your vocabulary. Just say, hey, man, anybody want to paint my walls? Dude, that is a physics object. We are physics. We're gamers, and we are skeptics. So there, there you go, some science for you. So, um, sup, motherfucker. Hi. It's like I'm alone in an empty map. What are these signals? Hello? A moment to talk. Ah, a fellow Londoner. Good to see I'm not the only man of means aboard. Rupert Martin, pleased to meet you. Hatham Kenway. Pleasure. Seems we picked an excellent time to leave the city. Oh? You didn't hear about the murder at the Opera House? No. What happened? They're still trying to sort it all out. And I suspect they'll be at it for a good long while. Any word on the motive? They've ruled out robbery. So perhaps it was a business arrangement gone sour. Or something more personal. More lurid. Who knows? But I am glad to be away from it. The city grows more dangerous by the day. So you can just talk to people? You mean I get to subject my audience to more dialogue like that? Good morning. Whoa! Doctor. Nice physics Do objects! Well? <laughs> A question, if I may. Do you serve aboard the ship, or are you simply taking passage? A bit of both, actually. I've been commissioned by the Royal Navy to study maritime illness. I'll be observing the crew during the journey. We have found that uh, sailors fare far better on the open seas than the rest of us. I hope to discover why that is. Well, I hope you are successful in your endeavors. As do I. Thank you for the kind words. So I guess these scripted dialogue sequences that rip you away from nice fucking cloak, by the way, rip you away from being able to, uh, you can't really call this gameplay, but running around. I suppose that has something to do with this. Hello? Can I leave? I guess I can't leave. Maybe I have to go over here. Yeah, but I guess that's supposed to make the, ga the uh, game world feel more alive. Captain? Mr. Kenway. I just wanted to thank you again for taking me aboard and apologize for any inconvenience it may have caused. Inconvenience would be an understatement. I'm sorry, I don't follow. My ship was held in port for two days that we might accommodate you. I lost several contracts as a result. I had no idea. Of course not. You nobles are all the same. Destroyed. And then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Though no, you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnell. <laughs> so I thought. And yet here you are. 
fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. Some animations in the background. Stay out of this. Wait, can I just punch this man? Oh, I had to parry three times. Oh shit, slow-mo! Mm, I'm Batman! Mm. Mm. Oh, slow-mo Batman! Oh, he clipped through my arm, but I don't care, dude, I'm Batman. Listen to this, Hector. Thinks he can swagger on up here and declare himself king of the castle. Please, fellas, call this off. If the captain sees the us... To hell with the captain. And to hell with you, Mill. Who signed you on, anyway? <laughs> We're ready to go again if you are. This is unwise. Why is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. Gross. That was all one click, Ooh. by the way. Never! Do you like these odds? What's the meaning of this? Captain! Explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway! These thought we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. <laughs> He's got the corona. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Executed. Nice Look, gameplay. I don't want to argue. In fact, way. I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Excellent. Good day. <laughs> well, where do I even begin? Uh, um, ah, uh, oh, ah, uh, um, oh, wow, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. oh. Ah! Oh. Whoa! <laughs> this game is falling apart. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Maybe the refresh rate's too high. I remember some issue when, with Dark Souls, something similar would happen. That's pretty impressive. This is a very long opening cutscene, by the way. It's like a 50 minute opening cutscene now. Bunch of scripted sequences and tutorials. Wait, what am I even doing? Like, hello? Is there something that's going to happen or? Game's just slapping you in the face at this point. 
Oh. Maybe I was supposed to talk to some people and tell them to not mutiny or something, I don't remember. Because there were more icons for me to talk to. You. Mr. Kenway. Captain. Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I'd best get to work. You'd think he would have done some recon, figured out some shit. He's got our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. You should feast on lamb and wine. You looking for another fight? That it? Biscuits? Go away. And then they just don't say anything, but make noise and f or make faces as if they are saying something. Pretty epic. What other what other epic one-liners can we hear? Quite the base thing you gave Graves and Quill. Wasn't by choice. Aye, blockheads, the both of them. Where are my manners, Louis Mills? Pleased to meet you, Ethan Kenway. So. Should I be watching my back? I think the boys learned their lesson. That they're normally not so nasty. Honest, it's just the past few crossings have been a bit rough. Oh? Captain's trying to cut costs, reduce rations, lower wages, more dangerous cargo. It's put the crew on edge. Is there cause for concern, then? Not if I can help it. But the captain needs to think about the way he treats his men. Something very wrong with that man's face during some of those animations. But at this point, I'd be here all day if I talked about everything wrong with the game. I got nothing to say to you. So, why can I interact with these people if I can't interact with these people? Why? And no, I'm not gambling. I hate RNG. You there. I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. Okay. Well, I guess I'll go for this guy since he seems to be the closest. Whoa. Won't be serving for another couple hours. Some biscuits in the barrel if you're desperate. Actually, I've come with a question. What's that? Have any of the men been acting strange recently? Said anything that struck you as out of the ordinary? The boys cry about the rations, as if there's anything I can do about it. But beyond that, I ain't heard much. My advice? Go find James. His ears are always open. Nice cloak. And where might I find him? Right behind you, actually. He's the one sitting on the barrel. What? This guy's not on a barrel. Are you James? Oh. Hi. Hatham Kenway. Pleased to meet you. I know who you are. I was hoping you could answer some questions. I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. Oh my god. Oh, what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk him down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. 
Stretch my legs. That's all. Take care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? Wow. I wonder why. Well. Will it happen again? Well, I couldn't quite make it happen again, unfortunately. Quite the base thing you gave Oh, it's the same will. thing. Wasn't by choice. He's got our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned with such luxuries. It's not right that you should feast on that. Wow. Analyze clue. Wouldn't those be long behind you now? Curious. Mm. Most curious. Oh, okay. End of the day, by the way. If only. Nice clipping. Why is there so much clipping? Why did they make, try to make a movie? But 33, of course, because three. Pop in, pop out. Wow. Maybe this game ran on like a smaller resolution on console and they didn't see those Any issues. News? Each night it's the same. I scout one area and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it. Ship sighted aft! She's making ready to fire! Beat to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace! Everybody down! A warning shot. Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead. Man the cannons. Make ready to fight. I want you below decks. Why? Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin. Or do I need to have you escorted? Secure the hatch! Hey, Tim. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. It's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. It doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? Ah. Oh. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? A red icon designates a target that must be killed. Okay, bye. Well, that was pretty epic. I told you to stay below decks. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? You'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. 
I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. And then I will. All right. All right. Why did they make a movie? Just let me play. Holy moly. Holy movie. It's not even a good movie. We need those ropes secured. I told you this was madness. Arm yourself. I'll fix your sail for you. All right, guys. Wow. Uh, there appears to be water on my screen, guys. That's pretty epic. Okay, well, epic animation, I guess. I don't know what just happened there. Nice camera angle, in my opinion. Don't look at those rubs too closely. Oh no, another one snapped. Okay, bye. So, again, a cutscene. We need more speed! Loose the sails! Hate them! You take the foremast! James, to the mainmast with you! Like, I'm not even sure if there's another way to get to wherever it is I need to go, other than what I've done. Uh, get down, idiot. How do I drop E? Why is E drop? I thought it was shift or something. That is reasonable. I'm not so sure that uh, I would be screaming in that way. Nice slow mo. Oh, oh, thank you, thank you. Dude, where's my hat? Nice shaky cam, by the way. Every time I touch my mouse, it changes E skip to hold E to skip. This is some mess you gotten us into, hat man. Wait, does he have his hat? <gasps> hat. Do what? He's got some candy bars. Or fig newtons or something. I don't know what those are. Oh, those must be protein bars. I love those. I'll take them. And of course, he's only got three. Ay, ay, ay. Also, I had like 40 seconds or something to save that guy. And I think I did it in 12, by the way. Pretty epic. So, I guess they just cleaned that dude's corpse up. Why can't I suddenly run over here, but couldn't before? Make wow, ready nice. for our arrival, men! Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. Don't say crow. This game is certainly not worthy of crows. Imagine everybody actually climbs up to the crow's nest using this method. <laughs> Where the fuck is that regular way to get up here? Oh. So 
Sorry, I need to go higher. What a mess. Dude, wow. Nobody would ever do this. Yeah, just keep going, it's fine. Fear not gravity. Clip. Ah, jitter. Ah. Nice uh, skybox. After an hour long opening cutscene, we may be able to play the game. But uh, I don't know about that one. Oh, okay. What is happening? Stop holding. Took me a second to realize if that was water or snow. Master Kenway! Master Kenway! Yes, may I help you? Charles Lee, sir. <laughs> Pleasure to make your acquaintance. I've been asked to introduce you to the city, help you settle in. Oh, no need, sir. I've arranged for your bags to be delivered to the inn. Are you by any chance John and Isabella's son? News and updates One and the same. Your commission is with Edward Braddock, is it not? Aye. But he's yet to reach America, and I figured I might... Well, at least until he arrives. I thought... Yes? Out with it? Forgive me, sir. I had... Hello, sir. I had hoped that I might study under you. If I am to serve the Order, I can imagine no better mentor than yourself. Bloody hell! Kind of you to say. But I think you overestimate um. me. Impossible, sir. Please, this way. Someone stop him! Uh, someone stop him. He runs directly into some patrols, by the way. I guess this is supposed Boston's to be one of those immersive, uh... There's all manner of things to see and do. Once you've settled in, I suggest wow. you take some time to walk the streets. Who knows what opportunities you might see? Hold a moment. We need to fetch a few things before we get to work. I'll arrange for horses while you do that. What are you doing? What is going on over here? Hey, explain this to me. Okay, I guess not. I like how either I can walk very, very slowly or run like a fucking lunatic. It does not appear to be... The difference. Hey, at least I can actually move around wherever, whichever way I want. Dog! Oh. Damn, Spriggs. This accursed city will be the death of me. You seem troubled, friend. That's because I am. Greatly so, in fact. What's happened? I was robbed. The old Balkan file. Though I've managed to restore what's mine, I fear it's ruined. You mean the book? This is no ordinary book. It's an almanac. The first I ever wrote. <clears throat> Benjamin Franklin, pleased to meet you. Haytham Kenway. You must be new to Boston. Why do you say that? You're still possessed of virtue. <laughs> to stop and help an old lout like myself. I... I don't mean to impose, but... You seem a spry fellow. Should you happen to find my missing pages, I'll reward you. Look, I'm not sure if I... It's all right, all right. If you have the time, hurrah! If not, no harm done. The thing is useless in its current state anyway. But should you somehow manage to restore it, you'll find me inside that general store over there. Well, that was interesting. You might as well look straight at the camera and say, Hey guys, Ben Franklin! Also, we have a store like this in Boston, except the flag outside is a little bit different. It says something about, um, uh, like, uh, I'm trying to remember the, the term they used. I think it was like, uh, uh, it's like, it's like if you take the hex code for the darkest color, 
So it was like zero, 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 zero lives matter. I think that's what it was. It was something like that. And that's what they have. What's up? Hi. What the fuck just happened? I thought I was going to go in there, but then it was a scripted sequence that sent me into the world space. The floor is lava. Well, we've arrived in the city. And while it's not performing as badly as it was earlier on my other rig, I have yet to check the recording. And I am definitely getting some uh, some resistance when I move my camera around. What I was told is that uh, the LODing was not set up correctly in this game, so... I, originally I thought it was NVIDIA proprietary shit, but it might actually be because I saw people were like complaining about GTX cards and stuff. Uh, which is obviously not a Radeon thing. So, nice dog. And, uh... Just shoot all children, to be honest. Sup, horse? JK. <laughs> the Gazette! The Boston Brochy! Mailman? Central Boston Letter. Okay. Wait, what? Deliver the letters in Boston. I don't know what that means. I thought that guy was the mailman and he had a notification for me and he's gonna tell me that my PayPal account was canceled or something. I didn't think it was anything else. Hi. And here would like... Okay. Check this out. Normal weapons. Normal sword. Oh, well, that's my only fucking option, so I don't know why I have to buy it. Maybe this is supposed to be some sort of introduction to how this stuff works or something. I don't know. Okay, bye. Wait, didn't uh, Benjamin Black Lives Matter Franklin say he would be in there? It was a pig. Check out this pig, dude. Can I pick this pig up? Oh, I can pet him. Or I can squish an orange? And... Uh, I don't know what happened there, actually. Hey, these horses changed skin tone. We ride for the Green Dragon Tavern. The proprietors are eccentric, but the rooms are spacious and they do not run. Have you been told why it is I've come to Boston? Destroyed. No. Master Birch said I should know only as much as you saw fit to share. He sent me a list of names and bade me ensure you could find them. And have you had any luck with that? Aye. William Johnson waits for us at the Green Dragon. How well do you know him? Not well, but he saw the order's mark and did not hesitate to come. Prove yourself loyal to our cause, and you may yet know our plan Thank you. as well. I should like nothing more, sir. <laughs> All these games that have horses are always so goofy with them. Although I do distinctly remember getting a horse stuck in the ground at some point, so... Oh, there was also a dog that got stuck in the ground, but... I like how they, even the NPCs in this game just do exactly what you do as a player. They just run into fucking everybody. Hi, dog. Oh, I guess the dog doesn't have any flinching animations. Oh, that was a loading screen. You lying, cheating, no good son of a bitch. Perhaps we've come at a bad time. Oh, don't be foolish, dearies. Please, sit. Fancy something to eat? A drink, perhaps? Or is it a bed you require? We've already let rooms here. Uh, oh, yes. <laughs> of course. Master nice Lee hair. Can we, uh, was it? Uh, I'll have your bags brought up. Do you require anything further? Only privacy.
Uh, somebody said this way, but it was just in subtitles. Um, back to walking super slowly. New email received. Wow, my PayPal account has been canceled. Thanks. I like how that's. Oh wait. Never mind. I thought that was under rewards. Maybe it was, but I wasn't paying attention. Somebody says B. B, by the way. Dude, why do I move so fucking slowly? So infuriating. Some motherfucker. Sir, William Johnson. A pleasure. A good lad, if a bit earnest. I'm told you're putting together an expedition. We believe there's a precursor site in the region. I require your knowledge of the land and its people to find it. Sadly, my research has been stolen. Without it, I'm of no use to you. Then we'll find it. Do you have any leads? My associate, Thomas Hickey, has been making the rounds. He's quite good at loosening tongues. Well, tell me where I can find him. I'll see if I can't speed things up. We've heard rumors of bandits operating from a compound southwest of here. You'll likely find him there. Charles? Sir. We'd best be off. Of course. Well, we can't quite be off until I can get the fuck out of here. In the, uh... In the terms of actually being able to move around. That would be nice. There's been a whole lot of fucking nothing to do in any of these areas, so hopefully we're finally at the point where we can play the game. Well, never mind. Hi. Would you like to cutscene me? Thomas Hickey? Who's asking? Haytham Kenway. Is that supposed to mean something? Show some respect, boy. Peace, Charles. William Johnson sent us in the hopes we might expedite your search. I don't need no expediting. Don't need none of your fancy London speak, neither. I found the men that done the theft. Then why are you just lazing around? Figuring out how to deal with those varlets. I have an idea. Well, let's hear it. I'll kill the lookout, take up a position behind the guards. Uh, you two, approach from the front. When I open fire on the group, you charge in. We'll have the element of surprise on our side. Half will fall before they've even realized what's happened. Get into position. But wait for me to take the first shot. And yeah, there's no aiming in this particular case. It, uh, does it for you. I remember that much. Go on now, before you make us mad. You two, clear off. These guns are pretty loud, so I can't imagine not knowing that they're being used. Clear shot. Hmm. Why are they playing dialogue? Wow, nice dialogue. And notice that the enemies are just- oh. The enemies are just waiting for me to finish my animations before they bother attacking. Okay. Fall back! Fall back! We'll be safe inside! 
Oh, that what other now? door didn't actually do anything. We can blow the door with those. Go on, shoot them. Nice sensitivity, by the way. Oh. <laughs> on with the show, then. Hold on, I have to reload, okay? <laughs> Twice. Lay down your weapons, and I'll consider letting you live. I make you the same offer. We've no quarrel. I only wish to return this chest to its rightful owner. Nothing rightful about Mr. Johnson. Nice clipping. I won't ask again. Agreed. Got him sighted! That was dumb. This whole thing is dumb. None of it makes any sense. Your kind has no need for books and maps. Who put you up to this? Never seen a person. It's always been dead drops and letters. But they always pay, so we do the jobs. Well, those days are done. Tell your masters I said as much. <laughs> Who should I say you are? You don't. They'll know. Hey, Fum. This one's got some shot on him. You might want to be grabbing it on account of your pistol being parched. Back to the Green Dragon, then. I need a drink. I can clip through them in a st stupid-ass animation. Nice fire, by the way. Careful, gents. We've company. Don't let go of the chest, Charles. We'll take care of this rabble. Um... Is sure to have loot on them would be a shame to let it all go to waste. Are you mad? In case you've forgotten, we're in the midst of something. Ah, why is you always got to go and spoil the spoil? Some motherfucker. Huh. I like how everybody else is just like, yeah, whatever, it's fine. Wow. I don't know what the fuck happened there, but there was some pretty good popping. Rude. So combat's pretty boring. As you may have noticed. Ow. Oh. Wait, how do I aim again? I don't remember. Whatever. So. Come on now. It's just a few fools with knives. They ain't so tough. This is a mess. I have, uh... I've played some games in my time. And this ain't one of them. I like how you still just instantly kill people. Now that, that was definitely synchronized right there, man. 
Uh, how do I aim? Oh, am I reloading or what? Oh, there we go. Don't worry, I reload faster than he does. Check this out. The most engaging gameplay that you've ever seen. How would you know it's the last of them? You clown emojis. Oi! Mr. Johnson's gonna need to double my pay after all this if he expects me to keep at his side. Eh, just loot all those corpses, dude, you'll get your pay. There you are. My thanks, Master Kenway. No. Tell me what it is you need. The images on this amulet, are they familiar to you? Perhaps one of the tribes has shown you something similar. It appears Kanyan Gahaga in origin. Can you trace it to a specific location? I need to know where it came from. With my research returned, perhaps. Let me see what I can do. Thomas! Whoa. Rent yourself a room. And a bath as well. I suspect we'll be here for a while. So now what am I doing? Do I get to play the game? Is there a game? Oh, wait, it's this game. This game has this massive bait and switch where you play as this guy and then you play as somebody else. I forgot about that. Well, I guess I'm just powering through the fucking main quest as long as or as quickly as possible so I can quote unquote play the quote unquote game. What a mess. Evening, gentlemen. Charming. Oh, peace, Charles. He'll grow on you. Oi! Catherine, you fussock! Get back here! Daddy needs a drink! <laughs> How fair is the search? Reasonable. Maths and maps are not cutting it. What have your local contacts? We'll need to earn their trust before they'll share what they know. <sighs> oh. I have an idea on how we might be affecting that. There's a man who's taken to enslaving natives. Rescue them, and they'll owe us. <laughs> Do you know where they're being held? Afraid not. Benjamin Churchwill. He's a finder and a fixer. He's also on your list. And there I was, wondering whom I might solicit next. Well done. Okay. So, I have to go down here. They just changed the entire fucking area. Why do I even have stuff happen in a, in a cutscene or whatever if it doesn't actually matter? You know what I mean? Except if you skipped all the cutscenes in this game, you would have no idea what the fuck to do. Except for the cases where they actually do tell you what to do through fucking tips and icons. So I guess you would always know what to do, but it would always be pretty dumb. Hi. I thought I just started the mission by doing that in the first place. Wonderful. Nice doorknobs. Charles? Sir? Seems like we're not the early ones looking for Mr. Church. Damn it, it could be anywhere. What do we do? We find him. Show you how. What? Ah. As both French and British forces attempt to draw Indian allies to their side. Oh, 
What? Why am I? The Boston Country. I can't move. Your favorite penny Should we write his family? Do you think? Not our business to meddle. Even if we've the best of intentions. Social status indicator, by the way. During the day, no less. What what is this out of place fucking tutorial? Jesus Christ. Um, is this guy sniffing me, dude? Not likely if he keeps up such carousing. Truly a shameful display. Benjamin's parents would be mortified. Perhaps I should send someone to retrieve him before he damages his reputation beyond repair. They stumbled off to the northeast, no doubt in search of a tavern or some other place. Of this is so embarrassing. Stop questioning those on the street. I'm headed for higher ground. Dude, nice head. I, like, what even is this? Destroyed, TBH? Hey, there's a man over there. He was bugged. Was. By the way. They have, people always have some ridiculous ideas of... Wait. Is he entered? Don't worry, I got it. <laughs> now that's a uh, that's something. Holy moly! Oh, uh, what a game! Yeah, people always have the most absurd reactions to when you're like running around like a lunatic, like I am on the rooftops. They're always like, "Oh, he must be late for something. Oh, what what a crazy guy!" What's up? Nice goats, dude. I also like how Benjamin Franklin said that we're a spry fellow, even though we didn't do anything spry in front of him. Hi. Do you scream help when a man jumps near you? I mean, I guess I probably would do that. Hey, I'm trying to climb, dude. Why isn't it working? I guess I'll have to do it this way. But again, like, you're never really punished for climbing around in front of people's fucking plain view. How do I even get up there? Maybe I can climb that window. I was trying to do that earlier, but it didn't quite work. Oh, yeah, I can. Okay, that's easy then. Pretty goofy, though. Oh, you idiot. Yeah, there you go. Now you're you're figuring things out around here. I mean, I know you're not a local. I have to show you how to, how to move around this city. Caw. Nice, nice bird, dude. So these uh, little points of interest that you must go into or... A staple of the game, I guess, if you can call this a I game. Take a listen. With luck, one of those people knows what became of Benjamin. But again, the idea that you're just like picking up information off of these people. Hang. them singing songs about us. Last thing the city needs is town criers complaining about our abuse of authority. Then forget it. The crime is done. The killer's gone. Those who know won't share their secrets. It 
the city wishes to harbor scoundrels, let them pay the price for it. Eavesdrop on a group of moving guards. I don't even know what the uh, optional objectives actually unlock besides a progress bar. The kind of content that you get in a game like this is pretty slim, man. It's stretched pretty thin. It's usually just a bunch of the same shit. Uh, as I understand, there's a, an Ass Creed game that actually sort of attempted to reinvent the, uh, the method or whatever. Oh, okay. See you, Guns are pretty quiet things, you know? matter and he'd be returned home soon there was some blood though so i wonder if it wasn't more serious than they let on where were they taking him towards the hilltop perhaps there's a doctor at the fort Have a chance, sir. I might how do you even fail any use the drop anyway is that what happens when you walk into them or something seems a little odd Another real key ingredient in Ask Creed games thus far in my playthroughs of them has been an intense amount of grind. Good one. Whoever I thought the, uh, it was a good idea to make the E key, the synchronize key, as well as the hang or drop key should uh, have gotten a raise, in my opinion. Quite a bit of screaming. Which reminds me, we'd best not buy any meat. <laughs> Good call, that. If you're not entirely satisfied, I'll return. So to ask, we'll have church in no time, just as I said we would. If I might ask, sir, where did you learn to do all this? It is a requirement when you're raised in the manner that I was. Where did you learn to Perception jump around like a lunatic? Order. It guides the feet when running and climbing informs the hands when striking and fighting. But most important, it transforms the senses, and we begin to know the world in a different way. Careful. The place is well guarded. We need to slip past them. I have no idea what I'm doing, but apparently I'm going in the right direction, so... Why do I have to stay close to allies? Why do I have to rely on this man's pathfinding capabilities? Locked. Hmm. I'll have to find the key. Wait here. You can even have a key? Well, if I can do so from the top, that's probably best. I guess. Oops. It's a good thing that doesn't actually count as a man detecting me. Else we might be in for some problems. I don't suppose I can just hit him from the other angle. 
Oh, never mind. He's just gonna do that. This game's easy, dude. It'd be funny if I missed the jump right there immediately after saying that. Stop where you are. Hey, this doesn't count, dude. I executed this man. Oh, I guess I didn't. I don't get it. But okay. Oh, I guess they were shooting at me that whole time? <laughs> Here we are then. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's reasonable. So why did like three people have the same key? Why must you always make these things so difficult, Benjamin? Merely provide me with recompense and all shall be forgiven. I'll not pay for protection I don't need. Clearly, you do require protection. Else we wouldn't be here. How very good. Now. What shall we do about our guest? Maybe I take his hands, put an end to his surgery. Maybe I take his tongue, put an end to his waggling. Or maybe I take his cock, put an end to his fucking us. So many options. I can't possibly decide. Take all three. No, Not three. Perhaps I was hasty in refusing you earlier. I'm so very sorry, Benjamin. But that door has closed. Be reasonable, Silas! I rather think I was. But you took advantage of my oh. generosity. I won't be made a fool a second time. I fear I lack the constitution to bear witness to such barbarism. Come find me when you're finished, Cutter. You'll retract this, Silas, do you hear me? I'll have your head! No. I rather think you won't. Quit <gasps> little swipe and no more is. How's that sound, Mr. Church? At least I'll be spared more of your name, brat. Ruffian. Over here, you bastards! Come on! Have at me! How embarrassing. Can't even reload my gun before the next cutscene. Who... Who are you? Haytham Kenway, at your service. I... I, I don't understand. Well, why are you here? Walk with me, Mr. Church, and all will be explained. I couldn't even loot Cutter's body to see how many cocks he had taken, dude. I was hoping for three. Ah, oh, I have to go back into the cutscene land. Restricted area, by the way. <laughs> it's literally in my fucking region. Hello? Hello? Ah, epic. <laughs> nice Audi. <laughs> no. Johnson's told me what you intend. As it happens, the man who held me is the same one that you seek. His name is Silas Thatcher. That fancy lad is our slaver. Don't let his velvet tongue deceive you. A crueler and more vicious creature I've never known. What can you tell me of his operation? He hosts at least a hundred men, more than half of whom are redcoats. All this for some slaves? <laughs> Hardly. The man's a commander in the King's troop, in charge of the Southgate Fort. We need to find a way inside. Hmm, let me think on it. In the meantime, I'll attend to our final recruit. John Pitkins, our man. I'll take you to him. 
Well, if we follow the cliches thus far, he might be dead since the last guy was almost dead. But who knows. At this point, I've already given this game way too much of my time, to be honest, so... Bigger business. New recruit. More kindling for the pyre, eh? Well, go on, then. Don't I look a little too fancy Don't to be a new recruit? That. Did you forget, sir? My commission is with General Braddock. When I'm not attending to you, of course. The almanac page is lost. Come back later to find it again. Okay. Yeah, I guess there's some pop-up saying that there's an almanac page or something. Uh, there's a bunch of fucking lore entries because this is a book and a game. Uh, well, a book and a movie, Perhaps rather. Give me one good reason. I shouldn't kill you right now. Yeah. Were you planning to announce yourself? Or did you hope my men Sir, wouldn't notice your if arrival? If you'll allow me to explain. Ho <laughs> oh, ho! By all means. I should like very much to hear this. I have not deserted, sir. I am here under Commander Amherst's orders. Show me a letter bearing his seal, and you might be spared the gallows. I have no such thing. The nature of my work, sir, it's... It's the sort of thing best not put to paper. Hey, them. General Braddock? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised. Wolves often travel in packs. Master Pitcairn won't be here for but a few weeks. I shall return him to his proper post once our work is finished. The devil's work, no doubt. It's bad enough my superiors have insisted. I grant you use of Charles. But they said nothing about this traitor. You'll not have him. Edward, listen to reason. We're done here. See these gentlemen out. Some nice facial animations on that guy, dude. And by nice, I mean non-existent. <laughs> he just moved his head. Well, that didn't go as I expected. I just think I used to call him brother. What now? Wow. They'll chase us off if we try and return. We're done with this camp. And as luck would have it, so are they. Come along. What are you planning? To steal Master Pitcairn. What? You'll see. Now. When I give the signal, you're to distract Braddock's patrol and lure them into a dead end. I guess I'm supposed to jump over here or something. Uh, that didn't quite go where I wanted it to be. You also have this epic 12 second timer. Oh, 15 second timer, sorry. If you don't maintain line of sight, they might escape, even though you can actually fucking hear them. Its residents are too content. Their homes are nice, their days untroubled. What of Lynn or Ship Street? Yes. Those fresh arrive, they're often soon in dire straits. They're more likely to seize upon an opportunity to fatten their purses and feed their young. Pretty goofy. Why does it keep telling me it's, I'm in a restricted area? Is there like a restricted area in the circle around the fucking target or something? Wow, that was an, <laughs> that was an animation, man. <laughs> oh boy. I also don't know when I'm supposed to be giving the signal. I did not notice it was him, though. Um. What? <laughs> what is even going on? Unhand him, Edward. Uh, you again. Let us go. 
And John Pitcairn with us. <laughs> I will not have my authority challenged. Nor I. Put them all in chains. How embarrassing. Ah! I stay my hand today because you were once my brother, and a better man than this. Or should our paths ever cross again, all debts will be forgotten. You're free now, John. Traitor! Go on then. Join them on their fool's errand. And when you find yourself, I assume you've good reason for causing all this madness. What is it you require of me? I'll explain everything on the way. I like how his audio is like completely fluctuating in and out. Also, his face is a permanent smile, even though he should be angry. Okay, voice acting though, I guess. Um. What a mess. So yeah, I mean, I don't know if this is one of the more critically acclaimed games in this this franchise, but so far it's been a completely complete dumpster fire, and uh, I guess it, it's no surprise that it's uh, it's like that. I mean, it is an ass green title, but really consider what you're actually doing here is uh, just a, a series of of movies and watching stuff like that where the guy's arm just clips through the the area right next to him. It'll happen again. Oh, uh, nobody gave a shit where they they put me and. How they posed me, and they're both talking at the same time, instead of it being like one of them talking at once and the other talking at it. Like, oh, it's the third time I played this animation in a row, and that guy's pointing at the fucking wall that the other guy's arm is going through. It's a real magical fucking duo over there. This guy's outline isn't even in the same area. You know, like, there's just a certain amount of stuff that you gotta ask players to put up with when you actually give them a game to play, and. So far, I haven't really had a game to play. There's a little bit of freeform stuff at, as soon as I got off the boat, because then I could reach the destination of the next cutscene <laughs> in whatever order I pleased or using a bunch of other stuff, but this is just straight up shit. Honestly, this is this is miserable. There's, there's no gameplay. And, you know, sort of like you turn a movie off after the first 20 minutes because it didn't get your attention. This is when you, you chuck a game out the fucking window and refund it because it didn't let you start playing in the first two hours. So, well, there you go. At least it's something. It's a little bit of content for you to sink your teeth into. And, um, well, it, it, I honestly don't think there was a whole lot of value in it because the game was just that bad, but you tell me what you think. At least I have a hat. <laughs>